Hammer time. Go. Oh, how about that? I was wondering how Freddie was going to slip that in. That was tight. That's how good the audio, audio yeah. department is. Uh, we're doing hammers <laughs> early this morning. That's right. Ben Affleck, uh, Ben Affleck coming back on screen. This one, the accountant, Thor. A very interesting premise here. So Ben Affleck plays an autistic accountant working for various criminal organizations around the globe. A little bit of romance, too, here, courtesy of Anna Kendrick. Hmm. Sit right there. What is this place? Pan America Airstream. 34 feet, 7 inches long. Eight feet, five inches wide. Dimensions which are perfectly adequate for one person. Preferable, even. This is where you live? No, I don't live here. This is a storage unit. It would be weird. That's what would be weird? I'd like to spend more time here. However, I'm afraid some of my clients might follow me. Why would your clients follow you? You're an accountant. How do you know what to do here? Everything in the world that is important to me is in this trailer. And right now, changing my routine for you is jeopardizing that. <laughs> so here we go. Not the sexiest title in the world no. with the accountant, but what does this uh, movie bring to viewers out there? Uh, about halfway through, uh, to me, I was like, this is Batman in the off season, okay? <laughs> he's just number crunching, and then he's bone crunching, and it goes, I mean, Affleck, Affleck it goes from, you know, each distinct part of the character very effortlessly. And you saw in the clip there, there are moments of dry humor. So it's able tonally, although, although it's all over the map, and it does have some inconsistencies, um, somehow it manages to work because Affleck is totally on board here and despite the wacky premise he is very effective and earnest in this role and you know what they cared about the character of the accountant here because um, they illustrate his backstory through some very poignant flashbacks so they kind of tried to give you a little bit of depth when it came to the character about his father and uh, how he shaped him into the man he would become and you see J.K. Simmons there he's basically prepping for his uh, Commissioner Gordon role in the Justice League so there's a whole investigation from the Treasury Department uh, Affleck takes on this new uh, client. There's also John Bernthal kind of hunting him. There's the Anna Kendrick thing. So a lot of elements going on here, but they managed to actually make it work. And the combination of Anna Kendrick and Ben Affleck, is that is that the winning formula here for this movie? Uh, you know what? It uh, sort of gets shifted to the side about midway through, so it starts off really well, and then she gets a little bit forgotten, which is one of the flaws of the movie, I have to admit, but they do have some good chemistry together. And I like seeing Affleck do this kind of role. I thought it was very effective. Um, at times, it did feel like three different movies going on, but despite a ridiculous premise, and it is a little bit silly at times, admittedly, uh, it was always engaging, and the action was very well staged. So when it got a little too talky, bam, they throw you in a nice little uh, sequence of violence and just kept things rolling. How many hammers for the debits and credits? Gonna go with a respectable three out of five. Three out of five yeah. for the accountant. Russell Kate, I think we need the meteorologist as the next one if there's a sequel. What do you think? <laughs> Sounds good. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, one, one eye looking through a scope like that.